and welcome to our hot for the holidays or hot and healthy for the holidays challenge group. I wanted just to take a few minutes. Um, it might go a little longer, but I'm going to go over just a few things because um, I know that we can feel a little overwhelmed when we get started and um, I just want to kind of set your mind at ease and just kind of welcome you to the group and just walk you through some things and um, kind of some expectations and encourage you guys and you know whatnot. So um, first of all I just want to say um, welcome to the group and I'm so glad that you decided to take our hand, um, either my hand or the hand of another fellow coach in this group. Um, you are blessed to be in a group full of amazing coaches who are encouraging and uplifting and they just want the best for you and um, they are on their their own journey too. Coaches are just regular people that want to pay it forward and help other people. We don't have it all together. We um, you know lead busy lives just like you and um, we struggle just like you do. So, um, so just remember that and give us some grace sometimes. Um, because, um, and I do want to add that this is going to be a larger group, which is going to be great because we're going to have a lot of activity. But if for for if for some reason you post and for some reason no one comments or maybe no one sees it, because sometimes you might post and then it gets pushed down to the bottom of the page and then maybe someone doesn't see it just know that 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 is never our intention to ignore someone so um, if that happens just remember to give some grace and know that we didn't see it and purposely ignore it um, again we just we are all very busy this is a busy season um, so um, just know that we we are here to encourage you and uplift you and help motivate you but um, we are just regular people just like you um, okay so first thing um, this is a safe place for you to share your struggles share your obstacles share your victories because I think that society teaches us it's not okay to be proud of ourselves and I want to tell you it is it is okay for you to be proud of yourself so we encourage you to give yourself a shout out and toot your own horn so don't be embarrassed to do that you know if you you had a non-scale victory or you had a scale victory or you lost you know two inches we want to hear about it we want to know what's happening um, so uh, we want you to be honest we you know because if you're honest then you're gonna get better results you're gonna get you know if you're not being honest with yourself you're cheating yourself so you know I know that we're gonna have bad days and sometimes we don't want to own it trust me I mean I'm I've been doing this for about four years and there's just days that I don't post and I know that I'm hurting myself but again coaches are real people just like you so um, but I know that to get the best results then I need to show up and I need to be posting and I need to be accountable from what I'm eating because that's gonna make me more conscious about what choices I'm gonna make so when we ask you to post your food log, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is, number one, um, let, sorry, let me slow down a little bit. So this week we are having what is called prep week. And prep week is we are trying to get you ready so that you are prepared um, to rock and roll next Monday. Now, if you are ready and you're kind of like me, your personality, you're like you're ready to go, um, feel free to just go, you know, because there's other people in the group that are going to go ahead and get started. Feel free to get started. There is nothing wrong with that. No one's going to judge you. It's totally okay. We actually encourage you to go ahead and start pushing play and getting your workout done because that means you're getting active. That means you're working out and that's good for you. So... But the main reason that we want to have prep week is because we want to set a good foundation for you to have that nutrition um, guidance. And so what we're going to be doing is, you know, basically you've already seen some of it, is getting your measurements 
talking about meal planning, having you print off some documents and kind of work through that. And it doesn't necessarily take all week, but with busy schedules, with people working, I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with all of this information in just a couple of days. So we spread it out over the course of a week. So really dig in and take the time to look at the information. You know, again, I know you're busy, but um, you paid for this. So dig in and take the time to learn. And you're not going to know it all at first. I'm still learning. But as you work through it, as you fail forward, you're going to learn what works for you. So just trial and error and you're going to fail forward. And that's okay. That's all we're asking for is for you to try and um, you're not going to be failing. But if that makes sense, it's like you don't have to have it all figured out to, to be able to do it and move forward. Um, okay. So. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed because there is going to be a lot of information thrown at you this week. So I, if you are the kind of personality that gets overwhelmed and you shut down, I want you to take that pressure off of your shoulders and know that, again, this is a safe place and we are giving you guidelines. We are giving you um, these documents and stuff to help you, help give you guidelines, kind of, so to speak. No one's going to judge you. No one's going to be giving you a grade or criticizing you or anything like that. So don't worry about that. Don't be overwhelmed. Um, just take a deep breath. And if you can't go through all the documents and the only thing that you can do is focus on your workout and eating better, then that's what I want you to do right now. Because something is better than nothing. And I don't want you to think all or nothing. So I just want you to start somewhere but we want to give you kind of the whole package. So that's what we're doing. All right. Um, okay. So another thing, I know I touched on this earlier, but you are, there are going to be several other coaches in this group who are, um, going to be edifying you, encouraging you, motivating you. They are also on their journey. They are sharing their struggles. They are sharing their victories. Um, they're sharing their workout photos with you um, and they are just amazing amazing people and I just wanted to give them a quick shout out because they um, hold a special place in my heart and um, I'm just so excited for you guys to get to meet them and get to grow in your relationships with them as well um, some of you guys who who are there um, who they are your coach you already know how awesome they are so um, anywho um, and then we also have what's called a challenge group graduate we have some of those in here so those are people who have already done challenge previous challenge groups with us in the past and they I love it so much and they are in this group now so after this group is over if you would like to continue just let your coach know and you're always welcome to join the next group so um, they are going to also be helping encourage you and um, help um, uplift you and uh, on all those kind of things as they go along their journey. So, um, all right, so let's go through the documents that um, are going to be uploaded. I think most of these are already uploaded in just a few things um, just to kind of help you walk through some things. Um, all right, so number one, make sure you print off your meal plan. Um, that's a really helpful resource. I love the meal plans that we have because, um, and this is a meal plan that you would receive from your coach. So just print that off. And I like to keep them in a binder in um, like a three, week, three ring binder in my kitchen. They are a great resource for recipes, um, excuse me, and ideas and things like that. If you plan on following the nutrition guide that came with your program, which is always recommended, um, then um, you don't have to print off the meal plan. Um, what I recommend is that you go through your um, package as soon as it arrives and really familiarize yourself with the nutrition plan. Go through it. Try not to get overwhelmed. Um, just know, again, it's going to be one of those failing forward things. You're just going to kind of learn as you go. If you're, Most of our programs revolve around the 21-day fix meal plan. It might not be called a 21 day fix, but they come with the portion control containers. So I recommend that you go to YouTube and you Google 21 day fix meal planning, and you will find all kinds of videos, um, helpful stuff, and it's going to help give you some tips. And if you're visual like me, I, I like to see, um, visuals. So check that out and that'll help you kind of figure out how all that works. Um, all right. So 
Um, da, da, da. So next, I want you to print off your measurement tracker. And the other thing, let me go backwards. If you're not sure where these files are, if you click in this in this Facebook group, if you click at the very top of the group, um, there is it says files. If you're on your phone, it might be a little tricky to print off. So I'm talking from like a laptop. If you go to the very top of our Facebook page and you click on files, you're gonna see these documents that I'm talking about. So. So you were supposed to print off your meal plan. Next, you print off your measurement tracker, and I want you to do your measurements and your weight every two weeks. If you are someone who obsesses about your weight, get rid of the scale. Like, hide it, throw it away, give it away, whatever you need to do, don't worry about it. Do your measurements, let that be your focus. I really do like to have a starting point for weight because it's just, it's just a great place to start, but some people obsess about the weight on the scale and it discourages them, and if that's you, then just weigh yourself and get rid of the scale, you know? Um, and I want you to weigh, I mean, I'm sorry, I want you to measure at a minimum every two weeks. Then thirdly, I want you to take your before photos, we call those your goodbye photos, and if you are comfortable, share them in the group, and that is gonna hold you extra accountable. It's gonna it's gonna help push you a little more. I know it's scary. If you're not ready for that, then you don't have to share them. You can send them privately to your coach. Just please, please promise me that you will get it done. I've had so many people not do it and they regret it. Like they wait two weeks and then they're like, why did I do that? So just make sure you get that done. All right, so next, um, okay, so we went through that. Um, all right, so we kind of went through everything. Um, so I, I'm just gonna, Close this up. I didn't even introduce myself. I'll do that real quick. My name is Jennifer Wood. I am a coach in this group and um, I'm just here to encourage you and uplift you and help motivate you and I need you to hold me accountable too because I am also struggling on my fitness journey. So, um, all right. So lastly, this is your challenge group. So it's your group. Get that? Like, so you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So if you see a motivational picture, share it in the group. If you see a healthy recipe, share it in the group. If you see an inspirational post and it touches you, share it in the group. If you have a struggle at work or something's funny or something happened in your life and you just want to be open and real and raw, it doesn't even have to be fitness related. This is your support team. We are here to support you. And all of us know that our emotions affect how we eat, so let us support you in all aspects of your life. Um, so I'm just so excited for this group. We're gonna have um, you know, tips for dining out and tips for parties and tips for traveling with kids and all kinds of stuff for you to kind of look through. But again, I know it's a busy season, so if you don't have time to look through those things, don't feel overwhelmed. They'll be in the files section for you to take a look at when you have time. Um, but I'm super, super excited. And if you wanna do a video introduction of yourself, that would be even more fun. Um, feel free to upload those. And um, again, post sweaty selfies, post pictures of your Shakeology, post pictures of your food. Um, pretty much whatever you wanna post as long as it's G-rated and appropriate. But um, all right. so. Have a great day, you guys. Um, thank you if you watched this. I appreciate it. I know it was kind of long, but I just wanted to touch all of those things and kind of give you a good baseline for what was um, expected in the group. Just kind of give you some help um, to get you started. Bye.